Well, Debbie, when you were before you met Fumi, you were you were wrestling. You were talking about a TV show that was really fun. Can you tell us more about that? Because I'm not that familiar with it. So it was a a TV show that they did in Japan, and it was called Catch Me. Yeah, and... Chikyu, Catch Me. And a bunch of yeah. Uh, um, there's uh, every week uh, celebrity or somebody famous or comedian or act, movie actor. Uh, this time it was Tatsumi Fujinami. Of New Japan Pro Wrestling, he was a star of the show. Um, this person actually go 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 to all over the you know on Earth, Africa, Europe, America, you know, and bring his friend over and meet you know meet meet people and stay with people and then at the end of the trip they would do the tag of war. Remember? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I had my hands all bandaged up because that's when I had the accident with my fingers. Right, so. right, right. Um, oh, people don't yeah. know about that. So we'll go over on that. Uh, okay. <laughs> there was a TV show that Fujinami came to Tampa, Florida and visit people like Carl Gotch, Joe Malenko, Malenko School, and spent time with people. And Deb was one of the people we visited. That she was a firefighter, volunteer firefighter. So we had experience. Yeah, we, had we, yeah, we, yeah, we filmed some at the... Lando Lake Fire Department. Yeah, yeah, it was a volunteer fire department. We even had, we even went up on the roof and we were, you know, using the hoses, climbing yeah, the ladder. Practiced. Yeah. Yeah. Back to Florida one more time to sign the contract. Okay, tell me about right. that. If you remember that the meeting we had at the Sizzler's restaurant on Dale Mabry. Right. Yep. Yeah. That's the best place to go after your training too, because you could get chicken breast all you wanted. It, <laughs> okay. was, it was awesome. Right. You know. We had meeting. <laughs> you know, Mr. Malenko was there. Masami Soranaka, son-in-law of Carl. You and your mom, me. We all sat down and went over that. Uh, this is the plan. Debbie's going to Japan, and not just a couple of weeks, but she had it to stay like, six, six months. months the yeah, first six months straight for the training session. And debut you over there. Yeah. And that was that was one of those things where I was so naive at the time. It was like, okay. And you're like, oh, and by the way, this is what you're going to get paid. So I agree before I even looked at that. I was like, okay, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> it was rookie money, you know? It was rookie money. Yeah. yeah I think yeah. I ate more than I, I made. Well, cause when, yeah, because the people expect that when you go to Japan, you'll be making mega money or something. But the, mm -hmm. it was rookie deal. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, they didn't know me and I was I was still green as could be. So, you know, they and were I didn't tell you that, that nobody would be speaking English at the, at the All Japan Women's Dojo. <laughs> well, they knew a little. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> you know. So, but they were, they were awesome. They tried really hard because everybody, I guess, gets a little English in school. I mean, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit. yeah so.